Hello and Brick me here with a look at the Brick Smack sliding kit for the Lego Technic Dom's Dodge Charger Fast and Furious 42111. This sliding kit was sent to me for free by the parent company Light Tailing and I highly recommend you check them out. And now let's see what their lighting kit is actually like. So first of all, as you can see, this lighting kit looks incredible. Words cannot express just how beautiful all of this looks and the lighting itself is just perfect. You can actually toggle the turn signals both left and right and it'll blink just like in the real car. I mean wow. And in order to do something like this from Lego you'd need the powered up hub and you need the powered up lights which is way more expensive than what you get in this kit. You don't get anywhere near the same experience as with this lighting kit. So how's this lighting kit all connected? Well basically as you can see there's a bunch of wires here at the bottom of the car and the installation for all of this is actually much simpler than what you would think. Brooks Max has actually very detailed instructions so you won't really get confused while installing it but if you do need some additional help they have a very detailed video up on their YouTube channel and you can just see how to install everything step by step really. What I love about this Bricks Max kit is that each separate group of wire comes in a different bag. So everything is coded and in the instructions it says get a wire from the bag number D06 and you get that bag and everything is clear and you don't really get confused as to which wire goes where, nothing like that. It's really simple. But installing it does take a little bit of time since uh, you do need to feed the wire f through like these tiny holes. So you do kind of get to spend some time installing everything but in my opinion for the end result it's well worth it. I also like how it teaches you a little bit about how electronics work because as you can see uh, there are certain groups of wires that come together into this one expansion board and basically this entire group of wires comes into one which then connects to the main circuit board. I think that this implementation is really well done in this set. As you can see here is basically the motherboard of the entire lighting kit and if you're a big fan of little electronic components then this is gonna teach you a little bit more about electronics and it's basically the receiver and the control unit for the entire thing. You can power this lighting kit with either the battery box which contains three double A's. That means that the battery box power is gonna last a very long time. But in case you want to make sure that this lighting runs indefinitely then you can always connect it using a USB cable and just simply connect this little USB cable to the motherboard and then connect it to your computer and boom it works perfectly. Uh, it's actually a little bit brighter from the computer than with a battery box and this brings me to my next point which is that the lighting in this entire lighting kit is actually kind of adjustable because you have three settings the least bright the medium setting and the brightest setting. All of these are controlled through this special Bricksmax remote and you get plenty of functions here. For example, the A button toggles the interior lights, the B button toggles the front and the back lights, the C button toggles the left blinker, and the D button toggles the right blinker. And here are the brightness settings buttons too. Everything, as you can see, is controlled through this little remote, which in my opinion is really great because a lot of lighting kits you just kind of plug in the lights and you turn it on and you don't really do anything much. But because you get this remote and because everything is so interactive you're gonna have plenty of fun. Right now like I can't stop playing with this. It's just so much fun and even though this Dom's Dodge Charger didn't have a lot of functionality so it was only used as a display piece but now without even ruining any of the aesthetics you get plenty of playable functions now which is really perfect in my opinion. The lights themselves are really really tiny and basically they just fit in between the Lego studs and then you put a clear plate on top of it that is really cool. The entire lighting kit basically comes packaged very neatly into this one little box and as you can see I also have something outside of the box that is simply because that light tailing very generously sent me a second backup battery box. But if you open up this lighting kit every category of electronics is stowed away neatly into these tiny little bags and as you can see you get plenty of them along with the instructions. And the way everything is packaged here is super neat, super nice, you're not confused with which way the wires go, 
nothing like that. And so I really want to give props to Light Tailing for making it such a simple experience. So here's the question, is it worth 43 bucks? Well, I say yes, and let's examine the reasons why. First of all, this lighting kit is really interactive. You get this awesome little remote with which you can control plenty of functions, such as the turning on and off of the interior light, the front lights and the back lights, as well as the right turn signal and the left turn signal, all of which are toggled completely independently and you can also control the brightness setting of your entire lighting kit. So the fact that it is really interactive and controllable makes it a very premium lighting kit. Once you do install your lighting kit, everything is invisible in the car. It's like nothing ever changed. And yet by simply turning it on, you can make it look phenomenal. Also, this lighting kit is really unique in a way that not a lot of lighting kits are actually interactive or computerized like this one is. Most lighting kits, you know, you just plug in the lights and you turn it on and you forget about it. But you actually get to control this with a little remote. The lighting kit is also really durable and high quality. When you unbox everything, it really does feel premium. It really does feel like it was packaged by the Lego company themselves. And yet it's not. And in my opinion, for the price, you really can't ask for anything better. It's really fantastic. The only downside I can really think of is that if you have big hands or large fingers, you might have a tough time fitting in all the cables into all the little holes. But at the end of the day, I think it's well worth it. You know, you should get this set. They also have plenty more options on their website for a bunch of other Technic sets and even Star Wars sets like the like the famous UCS Imperial Star Destroyer and plenty more other themes. I think I might be getting the light kit for the LEGO Technic Lamborghini Sign FKP374115. And the remote here is way more advanced, which piques my interest. Once again, I want to give a huge, huge thanks to the light tailing company for sending me this light kit for free. I am really grateful I got this lighting kit, and now my Dom's Dodge Charger looks even more phenomenal than it already was. Words cannot express just how thankful I am for this lighting kit, and the result is spectacular. Definitely buy this kit before it's too late or before it gets sold out. And do you also want to see how to add Power Functions motors to this car so that way you can actually drive it with a remote? Check out the video here on the left. This is your Unbreak Me Here, and I'll see you in the next one.